Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here coming to you with a brand new how to transform video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2005 Transformer Cybertron Undermine and Brimstone. Now, as you guys can see here, these two uh, with their beast modes have a have some pretty cool uh, dinosaur uh, dinosaur forms. Uh, Undermine is modeled after what appears to be the Spinosaurus, which I have to admit, I think it's pretty cool that he has a mace at the end of his tail. Gives him a little more uh, of an intimidating look, I suppose. And then you have Brimstone, which turns into a Pteranodon or a Pterosaur, whatever you want to call him. I guess he could be the reimagining of Beast Wars Pterosaur, if you wanted. Anyway, uh, I'm going to point this out really quick. You guys notice that... Uh, Brimstone's head is sticking up. Um, I'll explain that as we progress through this video. But in addition to those two, in addition to these two, you'll notice that they both have these matching cyber keys. Now, these green cyber keys, as you can see here, they have the claws on them. These keys are represent uh, represent the jungle planet or beast planet, whatever you want to call it. And these keys will unlock features that these guys can use in both their beast mode and their alt mode. So for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, Undermine's key. And I'm going to show you what he can do. Uh, now, one thing I wanted to point out, I didn't point this out in my last video, but if you turn these keys over, you'll notice that they have little codes. I apologize if that is blurry in the camera. There we go. It's a little bit better. Uh, they have their these unique little codes. As you can see, Undermine's is S48A. And Brimstone's is D0H3. I apologize if you guys can't see those very good. Now, when these characters came out, you could actually take the codes that were on the back of these cyber keys. And I think it was the main transformer site. And what it would do is when you put these codes in, it would uh, allow you to access the bio and the stats of each individual character. Um, I think... Every character for the Transformer Cybertron series had this feature. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really start collecting Cybertron figures until after they had already done that type, that uh, whole spiel. But anyway, so for right now, we're going to go ahead and move uh, Brimstone off to the side, and we're going to bring in Undermine for a close-up. Like I said, Undermine's beast mode is that of what appears to be a Spinosaurus. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the amount of detail in there, you can see that he's got the uh, Decepticon symbol in there. Uh, now, when I first started collecting these, I thought it was interesting that they wouldn't have like the Predacon symbol, since typically the bad ones in the Beast War series are Predacons. Uh, but if you think about it, I think that these guys are the ancestors of the Predacons. If I'm mistaken, I apologize. Feel free to let me know. Uh, but I still think it's pretty cool that uh, they all that they actually have the faction that they are stamped with uh, on their bodies. You can see the Decepticon symbol right there on Brimstone. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, um, when we first meet these guys, they really don't have any affiliation except for their the planet leader Scourge, who is the dragon leader of uh, Beast Planet. I'm going to be doing him in a later video, so. Be prepared to look out for that one. But anyway, so for uh, Undermine, what you can actually do is if you look right here behind his spine, you'll see this port right here. And we'll go ahead and move his tail down. And if you put the key into his spine, whoops, I suppose it would help put it in the right way. Make sure that uh, when you do this, you have this little this little diamond-shaped emblem because it'll line up with this, with this groover here. And when you put the key in, It'll make this blade flip out on Undermine's head. Um, I'm not really sure how effective that would be, considering that it doesn't even stretch past his nose. But, uh, hey, I still think it's a pretty cool gimmick. And then if you just take the key out, you can either leave the blade out, or if you push back, it'll snap back into place for easy storage. All right, so there's Undermine's special ability. And now for Brimstone... Uh, he has a similar gimmick right here, and yes, I know he looks goofy with the with his alt mode head sticking up. Um, I'll explain. Like I said, I'll explain that. Um, you'll notice that his port is right back here, and if you push the key into his port, he actually has two blades that will flip up out of his wings, uh, which 
again, I don't know how effective those would be, considering that his head sticks out past the blades. <laughs> uh, it's still kind of neat. And then those just snap back into place just like that. I love how they were able to match the ridge of his wing. So that way, if you're not really looking for it, you don't really see the blade until they spring out, which I think is pretty cool. So there's um, brim, uh, Brimstone's special ability. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to transform Undermine into his alt mode. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull off Undermine's tail. We're just going to set that off to the side because we're going to be using that later. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take his legs and we're going to bring them all the way back and straighten them out just like this. Bring them down, straighten them out. And then we're going to take this whole section, this light green section, and we're going to bring it up, fold it out of itself just like that. And then these, his little uh, beast arms, whatever you, his little T-Rex hands, whatever you want to call them, will just sit kind of on his chest like that. But then what we'll do is we're going to grab the head of the Spinosaurus, and there's a seam right here. There we go. And what you'll do is you'll fold it open on each side and then fold it back and it will actually, okay, it doesn't peg in, it just sits there. But we'll go ahead and do that and we'll set him like that. So there's his head right there. And then we'll bring these down. And if you want, you can open up the mouth just like that to kind of give him an extra set of claws. Um, I think that these are actually supposed to be the claws for his alt mode. Uh, I've always thought it was supposed to be these because of, because of where they're at, but hey, he can have four arms, that's pretty cool. Um, so there we have Brimstone transformed, or excuse me, um, Undermine transformed into his alt mode. As you can see here, he's got a pretty cool mohawk. I think that that's, uh, pretty funny. And then once again, if you insert the cyber key, that just flips up, kind of give him a unicorn looking vibe, dinosaur, unicorn, dino corn, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Um, so I suppose if he, if he really wanted to, he could like do like a ramming charge with that blade on his uh, opponent. But anyway, so there's uh, undermine transformed and you'll notice, uh, right here and right here, there are little grooves on the lower section of what is the jaw for his beast mode. And that actually will hold his tail mace or whip tail mace, whatever you want to call it. You'll see that there's this little uh, writ, this little thing right here. And what you'll do is you'll just snap that into there just like that. And Undermine is ready to go. All right. So there's figure number one. There's Undermine in all his glory. And like I said, uh, these guys are from the, uh, from the jungle planet or the beast planet. And their leader is the... Um, is the character Scourge. All right, so next what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and move on to Brimstone. And as you can see right here, Brimstone's uh, beast mode is that of a Pteranodon, like I said. Um, now, this one is supposed to have a little bit of an automorph gimmick. Unfortunately, mine doesn't work, which is why the head is sticking up like this. Now, this one's a pretty easy transformation. What we'll do first is we're going to go ahead and move the move his uh, legs or what will become his arms off to the side. We're going to move them up just like this so we can get them up out of our way. And we'll go ahead and unpeg this leg from right here. There's a little peg hole right here behind where the foot will fall, right where you will form the foot and it just comes off of this peg right here. And... All right, and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take this and we're gonna bring it off to the side just like that. Bring it all the way around. This right here will actually form um, Brimstone's waist. And what we'll do is we'll turn this so that way the screws are going to be on the inside of his waist. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this whole section down just like this. Bring that down and then fold out his foot. And what I think is interesting is that Brimstone's head for his Pteranodon mode actually becomes the other leg. So what we'll do is we'll flip his jaw back and then flip the beak up and then we'll flip the jaw in, bring it straight and then turn it. And there we've got his legs. 
Now, like I said, this figure is supposed to have an automorph uh, feature similar to uh, Override and uh, my character Override in the other video. Unfortunately, mine does not work. But what's supposed to happen is when you turn his waist, you heard, you heard that click. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to make his head spring up out of the body. Mine doesn't work, unfortunately. So, since hence the, uh, the goofy beast mode. Anyway, the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring down what was the uh, talons for his beast mode. And we'll go ahead and just fold in the claws just like that. And fold that down, bring the claws in like that. And there's Brimstone in his alt mode. Now, what I think is interesting is that in the show, these two were roughly the same size. And there is a significant size difference between these two uh, with the toys. I think it's uh, interesting that they made him so much bigger. Especially considering that a Spinosaurus would be immensely bigger than a Pteranodon. But anyway, uh, now like I said, you can actually uh, use the Cyber Planet key while he's in his alt mode as well. And it'll just, it just does the exact same thing. Just makes the blades flip out just like that. Um, I'm not, still not really sure how those would be effective in combat. If he's kind of a, if he's a melee fa fighter, like I would, I would... You would think they'd be more effective if they were, like, attached to his arms or whatever. But, hey, it's still a pretty neat feature uh, how they have those set up and how they um, how they manufacture them and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, so there is the 2005 Transformer Cybertron Undermine and Brimstone. Now, for... Um, for some of the smaller figures for the Transformer Cybertron series, I'm going to be doing double videos, but for the bigger figures, I will be doing single videos. So if you guys have any ideas for uh, characters you'd like me to do in my double videos, like you can have it with an Autobot matched up with a Decepticon, a wh whoever, I really don't care. Um, but give me some ideas on who you'd like to see in, in videos. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler for my next video. I'm going to be doing clocker and breakdown from velocitron in my next video so that should be coming out either tomorrow or the next day but i will get some videos out and keep you guys entertained until then bye